Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at a new lens the Seven Artisans sent out to me to review. It's their 18mm f6.3 UFO version 2 lens. And the key difference between the first version and the second version of this lens is now it has a manual focus ring. On the previous version, you had to be about six feet or two meters away from your subject before it was in focus and then from there out to infinity. But on this lens, you can focus down to just 0.3 meters or about a foot away uh, to get things in focus. And this opens up a lot of photographic opportunities and compositions that you could not do with the previous version. Now, another big difference with this lens, and it's an improvement in my opinion, is just the aesthetics of it. It now looks much more like a conventional lens than the previous version, which was very, very, uh, we'll call it stylish. And just to quickly go over a couple other things that I like about this lens is the overall build quality. It's a beautiful all metal design. The focusing ring is very, very smooth. And of course, there's no aperture ring. It's fixed f6.3. And then finally, just the very small diminutive size of it. It's only 58 grams. So it's, it's almost like not having a lens on your camera at all. And yet you can still take pictures. Now to speak to the image quality of this lens, I'd say at this price point of $59 as of this video, uh, it's okay. Uh, what I found was is that it's very, very low contrast. And although it is relatively sharp in the center and the middle, uh, when you get out to the corners, yeah, it can get very soft. And also there's some pretty heavy vignetting on an APS-C camera, uh, not so much on a micro four thirds. On a full frame camera, and it's not designed for full frame, uh, the, the image circle is not quite big enough. So you're going to have to crop in about 10% to uh, use this lens if you're going to be going into full frame mode, which I really don't recommend. This is really designed for APS-C and it works even better on micro four thirds. There's also some barrel distortion that you'll have to correct in post-processing along with the uh, vignetting and sharpness and contrast, etc. But this lens is not about getting technically perfect images. It's really more about just going out and having fun with your camera. And that's something I can say that this is definitely a fun lens to go out and shoot with because you don't have to worry about focusing so much uh, when you're focusing on most things for street photography. But you do have some options available to you to get down and close to take pictures that you wouldn't be able to do with the previous version of this lens. So let's step into a little montage of some of the images I took using this lens. And I'm gonna show you the straight out of camera JPEG as well as the post-process images to my personal taste. <laughs> Just a few last notes as I was using this on my Fujifilm X-T30 and uh, the settings that I preferred were sort of the plus two highlights, minus two on the shadows, plus four on sharpness, and also the Velvia film simulation. And that sort of gave me the best uh, straight out of camera JPEGs for color. And for monochrome, I just put everything at zero and then I shot in either Acros with a red filter or black and white with red filter. Uh, and that gave me really nice uh, low contrast uh, black and white images as well. So uh, try those settings for yourself if you decide to get this lens. Uh, it's also available in the uh, Nikon mount, Sony uh, Nikon Z mount, I should say, Sony FE, and then also for Micro Four Thirds. So that's all I have for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in this lens, I'll have my affiliate links down below where you can pick one up for yourself. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.